Thanks for tuning in to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. This is Reverend Marjorie Linton, and it is my pleasure to share workable thoughts for healing and inspiration. Let healing flow is our message for today. And as long as we're alive, there will be a need for healing in mind, body, or spirit. With God, all things are possible. Therefore, all healing is possible. Genesis 1, 27 is one of the most impressive promises in the Bible. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. This gives us an entitlement, my friends, and proves that we are spiritual beings, only going through a human experience. And therefore, we are equipped with what it takes to heal our lives. There are times, however, when in our humanity, pain and ill health gets the better of us. That ailing knee, that back pain, high blood sugar, high blood pressure, kidney disease, heart and lung disease, digestive problems, just to name a few. We have been to the doctors and we have tried every remedy in the book and nothing seems to work. We have prayed and prayed and prayed and our prayers appear unanswered. What do we do? We wonder. Shall we cease to call upon the Lord? Should we let go? There is an answer to every prayer, my beloved friends. The answer you seek is within your subconscious mind, the mind of God within you. Before you call, God answers, and while you speak, God hears. The truth is, our prayers will not be answered until we have fully reached our spiritual heights. That is when we have stopped fighting with the health challenge and when there is a true letting go of the little self. It is in this state of surrender, my friends, that something bigger and grander happens. Then healing takes place before we know it. Your healing is at hand, my beloved friends, but your anxiety might be getting in the way just don't keep looking over your shoulder for results respect your healing but do not dwell on it recently a plant i have had in my living room for some time suddenly appeared to be dying i decided to do some pruning and after cutting off decayed leaves i left it alone watering it only occasionally. After a while, I was amazed to see the transformation. New leaves had suddenly replaced the old ones. This made me reflect on Mother Nature, and I was in awe of the magnificence of God, truly, truly amazed how nature takes care of its own. I reflected on the earth and the ocean, and I concluded that the process of self-cleansing is constantly taking place when there is no form of resistance. Now, we are one with the earth and with the ocean, so it dawned on me that the human body also goes through the same process of renewal and 
is made to heal itself. Our healing only seems delayed because we try to be our own providence and we make matters worse with worry, fear, and anxiety. Unlike the earth and the ocean, which are always in a mode of non-resistance. Just be still and go with the flow, my friend. When we resist something with worry and fear, we only give it power. God is absolute good, and he called everything that he created good, and we who are made in his image and likeness also have the potential to be good. When we dwell in the conscious awareness of God's kingdom, which is within us, there is really nothing to demonstrate or heal, just the realization of the presence and the power of God to be revealed in and through us. So my beloved friends, instead of seeking to heal a physical condition or situation, try having a personal relationship with God instead. God is the answer. John 15 verse 5 says, I am the vine, ye are the branches, he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me he can do nothing. Healing can sometimes be a very simple process, my friends. It is listening to divine presence and heeding divine instructions, which may be anything from conventional medicine to a holistic approach. It could be fasting and praying or denial of the power of the illness and affirming the power of God within you, mighty, to heal and prosper. Or it might just be doing absolutely nothing at all. In the book of Second Kings, Naaman was a commander of the army of Syria. But he was a leper who was led to Elisha the prophet for healing by his servant. Instead of seeing him personally, Elisha sent him a message to wash in the river Jordan seven times. This did not go well with Naaman, who discounted that advice as too ordinary. Why would an important person like me wash? in such an ordinary river when there are so many other important rivers around in Israel, he thought. Eventually, with some coaxing from his servant, Naaman eventually conceded and washed in the river Jordan seven times, just as the prophet Elijah advised him to do. And he was healed. There are two very important points in this story, my friends, which is of great significance. The first is that healing is very simple sometimes, but we make it complicated by entertaining doubts, fear, and anxiety. Although Naaman was a VIP, please note, his healing was initiated by a simple servant. He also received only a simple message from Elisha with a simple instruction to wash in a simple river, the Jordan, seven times. Now, how simple is that? The second point is that God does not do things the way we think they should be done. Naaman saw healing take place from a physical perspective and not from a spiritual perspective. He wanted a physical touch from the man of God, Elisha, 
But that was not how God saw it. Healing really is so very simple, my friends, that we often discount the simplicity of it. All that Naaman needed was a thorough cleansing of mind, body, and spirit. Amen. Whenever an illness appears, or when pain and discomfort persist, let go of your little self which tells you what to do. You can't get well, or you're not good enough, and get connected to the divine source which says, yes, you can get healed. Just let healing flow. Healing takes place when we listen to God, my friends. It is releasing what does not serve us. It is changing our lifestyle. Why don't you choose to do some pruning today, my friends? Deny that pain, illness, or discomfort. Affirm that you are a child of God with what it takes to accomplish good. Claim your healing and rest in God. Every sickness or negative condition can be healed by the limitless power of your mind, my beloved friends. God has given you that power which only you can activate by joining forces with Him. Remember, it is according to your faith that it is done unto you. Amen. And now look at, let us look at some points for contemplation. With God, all things are possible. Therefore, all healing is possible. We are spiritual beings going through a human experience. So we are equipped with what it takes to heal our lives. The answer to your prayer is within your subconscious mind, the mind of God within you. Our prayers will not be answered when there is a true letting go unless our prayers will not be answered until there is a true letting go of self-will. The ocean and the earth go through a process of self-cleansing and so do our bodies when there is no resistance from us. We delay our healing with worry, fear and anxiety. When we resist something, we give it power. We are made in God's image and after his likeness. So we have potential to be good. When we dwell in the conscious awareness of God's kingdom within us, there is really nothing to demonstrate or heal. Just the realization of the presence and the power of God to be revealed in and through us. Healing is very simple at times, but we make it complicated with doubts, fear, and anxiety. Healing is about listening to divine instructions, releasing what does not serve you, and doing what you're called to do. Healing may be holistic, conventional, a denial of the power of the health challenge over you, and the affirmation of God's healing life within you. And now, my friends, your call to action. As you sit in the silence of your soul, in the quietness of this moment, I now invite you to take a few deep breaths and retire to your inner chamber. 
relax your body and to concentrate on the point of light deep within your mind. Open up your heart and your mind to embrace the healing activity of the Holy Spirit, ever ready to heal and make you whole. Rest quietly now in this awareness, dear friends, and feel your heartbeat. It is the very presence and the power of God within you as health and wholeness. Centered in this awareness, dear friends, you are now one with the stream of healing life. You are whole, vital, and infused with energy, healing, prosperity, joy, peace, and wisdom. Just know, my beloved friends, that nothing can separate you from the love of God. Therefore, pain, sickness, lack, and limitation have no power over you. Now, with unwavering faith in the power of God to heal you, I invite you to hold a vision of your healing and give God thanks that the healing activity of the Holy Spirit is mightier than any pain, sickness, or disease. You are healed right now in mind, body, and spirit in the name and through the power of the living Christ present. Amen. May you continue, dear friends, to open yourselves to the healing flow of God's divine presence readily available to you. God bless you.